Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Benjamin's last bath with, with his mama. And I've already kind of done um, his feet, his toes, his hands, his eyes, his face um, with the Q-tips and his ears and all the creases. And his feet look a lot better. Mommy wished that she did this when there was still a couple little, you know, little dusty <laughs> spots. Oh no, no oh, dusty, you're not dusty. So, um, so yeah, this is a little surreal. I think that if I had to go back and do it again, I would have just cut his vinyl body off of him and just had his dough suede and I would have been happy with him. Really, really would have, but somebody did the work to have this nice full vinyl body and I just didn't want to you know, I thought that somebody would eventually um, enjoy him. So, I cannot find any other of his short sleeve Gerbers, his white onesies. So he's going to have to put on a long one. And, um, it's for him to go home in because I can't find any other ones. And I don't want to send it, him home in this one because it looks a little ratty. Looks like he's worn it for too long. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, mommy did the trick. So I clipped his hair as close as I could to getting him to be baldy. And just by the way, I'm going to be showing some of his little parts here in a second. So if you don't like that, then you might just have to, you know, come back in three to five minutes. So, um, yes, Mr. Benjamin has always been a full, final body, except for his hinges, his legs, and his arm, arms, hinges, and he has these cute little nipples right there. See his little nippies for the last time? And his little belly button. So mommy has some more Q-tips. And I'm just going to go over a little bit in the belly button. Make sure that there's no... And then when I'm done, I'm going to just powder him with some baby powder all over. Ready to see some boy parts, huh? Huh, Bobby? So I'm gonna do it like a, I didn't want to stand over the sink and have it like that. I wanted it to do like a really nice, soft, um, oh, no poopies. If you see black in there, it's because I um, put a, a booty implant. <laughs> and I, it's usually like a tube sock rolled up. So. Okay, so there's a little bit of stuck powder from the last time that I powdered him. And sometimes I take my teeth and pull out the edge and make this kind of flat instead of round. Do you like that? Okay, so it can get into all those little crevices and creases. No, this is going to be weird, but I'm going to miss his little peepees because I, I probably won't have another reborn for a long time that has anatomically correct parts. Huh, buddy? Huh, buddy? Yeah. Say, so, Mommy, what are you doing to me? It's funny because they model it like so, like they, I don't know how they do it, but they do it so well, whoever, um, um, Elisa Marks. Okay, I'm going to stop playing with this peepees. Um, I have some, sorry, this is going to be in the way. Actually, if I can try to move him a little bit more forward, then I can have the bowl back here. But that's still not enough room. That's still not enough room. Guess what? 
pick up the naked baby. <laughs> pick up the naked baby. And this is kind of like a little pillow underneath. And I'll move him to the front. Right there. So you can see him in all his glory. <laughs> and then I'll put this right here. And that makes a lot more sense. So let's get to work. I put a lot of... I'm not going to really rinse them off. Um, if I have to, I will. It just depends on how much the suds do. So I'm just going to... That wasn't so loud, the music in the background, until the air, came, <laughs> the air conditioner came off. Okay, get them tootsies. Get them tootsies. Yeah, you're going to a new mama. Yes, you are. I hope that she is going to love on you. And I'm going to put the cutest outfit on you and make you the most real looking reborn they have ever, ever seen. Yeah. Okay, buddy. I am going to miss you, love. But guess what? Like Miss Dottie said, I said this for the fourth time, change has to happen every now and then. And I'm, you know, um, it came to me in a time where I was um, just very distraught about and have not accepted yet the fact that I could not have children. And he came to me three years ago. And... I think we all have seen his box opening. If not, go see it. It was very emotional for me. And, um... Mm, it smells so good already. Yes, you do. He just really came to me in a time in my life that I needed him. I didn't just want him, but I, I really just needed him. He was my first reborn. I will never forget him. And um, I will love him forever, but times change, you know? And when you change, you gotta change your reborns because I'm in a time now where I've accepted that I can't have children. Do I like it? No. But I've at least have accepted it. Uh, maybe not gracefully. <laughs> but um, now I have Miss Eden and Miss Maggie, and I'm hoping. Um, because I've had a newborn, well, two newborns, I've had a toddler, I've had M Miss Maggie, who is in the middle, I just want to dry him off, so he doesn't air dry, I have to do some laundry still, um, and I think that I'm coming into a time in my life where I really just want a toddler again. Um, I love Benjamin because I played, I role played with him like he was a real infant and that's what I needed at the time. And, um, this might be a two part thing because I already see that it's nine minutes so this might be a two part <laughs> bath time. But, um, I've, I still would love to have a newborn boy or a zero to three month boy. Um, but that all comes in time, and um, I'm really going to miss him, but I'm excited for who I'm going to get next. Um, I do have somebody in mind, but I do not have any plans. It's not like, oh man, sorry, what was that? I felt like as soon as I put that bowl over there, it, I don't know if it was my eyes going wonky, or if it, if it steamed up the screen. <laughs> I don't know. So, I'm gonna miss him. He was my first boy. I mean, he was my first baby. And, um, I'm gonna cry when I put him in the box. But I just also wanted for you to sh see his little bath time because I might show you what I'm putting in with him, but I think I'm gonna go to UPS and say, this is what I got. Give me the smallest box you got that can fit him. 
and um, I knew I was prepared to pay at least a good 60 and more dollars. I just, I hope, I pray that it's not over 100 so that way I can take the other 125 and put it towards um, a custom. Yeah, bud. I want you smelling so fresh. Yeah, yes I do. I love bathing your little belly. Your little belly, huh? Oh, I have kissed his belly so many times. Yes, I have. It's funny when you see somebody else pass on trade or sell a doll. It's like, oh my god, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> And then when you have to do it, you're like, oh, crap. <laughs> Look what people are going to say. And, but I've tried to sell them for the past six months now, so I think that I prepared everybody so that you were not completely and utterly shocked that he was going away. Okay, bud. Okay, Mr. Buddy. Guess what? We've got to do some tummy time now. So come to Mama. I think the, the one thing that I loved about him in the beginning is that he had these parts and he had his little nipples and his belly button. Oh, I'm sorry. Gotta do the backside. I'm sorry about your, your little jewels there too. Let's prop your feet up so your jewels don't hurt. <laughs> um, I don't know what I was saying. I gotta get the sides. And I love right here, you probably might not be able to see it on screen, but I love right here, there's a little indent for his armpits. That is just the cutest thing. I have not wiped your behind in a while. You needed a, a wipey behind. Okay, make sure all that is done. And he's almost done. I'm just going to dry off his torso and um, I'm gonna really kind of wash it I don't I don't I don't like to pull I just kind of pat so all right at first I loved to role play I loved to pretend that he was a real baby and I'd wake up every four or five hours that was like the first two nights, and I'm like, screw this. <laughs> and then I just did during the day, and I really want to get back to role-playing. Like, role-playing that my babies are real, instead of just, like, spoofs. It's a little hiney. Little, little hiney. Look the tushy. Look at the tushy. And I would really like to go back to role-playing, like I did with Benjamin when I first got him. like to role play with Miss Eden. It's, sometimes it's hard when they don't have hair because with girls it's you want to put bows on them and you don't want them to okay mommy's gonna flip you this way bubs yes so I will finish cleaning him um, this is about what 14 minutes you'll see me finish cleaning him then I'm gonna stop the video and then I'm going to powder him in the next video and get him dressed in the next video. So, Mommy's got to take your little passy away, huh? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. You can't see him right now. so much 
and it's funny how you yourself, when you see your baby in your home, he's looking so clean. <laughs> you see his, their own personalities. This is what my little, Yvonne from my little tulip was talking about. Okay, buddy, relax, relax. About how they have their own personalities. Sometimes he's a little, he's a little angry, he's a little upset. Sometimes he's got this little sly smile that's mischievous. To everybody out there, he looks like he's kind of um, cranky. <laughs> but what we see in our reborns um, is something totally different than what other people see in our reborns. Sometimes I even am guilty of this. I'm like, how do they, do how, how, why did they get that baby? Why did they get that reborn? That one is ugly, or that one is this, or that one is that. And we don't see what other people see in their reborns, and they don't see what we see. Right, buddy? What I see in you is a handsome little dude that has helped mommy come through some loneliness, some sad times. Yeah, you helped mama, didn't you? But guess what? You have to go on and help somebody else now. Heal. Yes. Yes, you do. Some, come on, let's get some good suds going here. That's the way I look at it. And I bless him. And I'll pray over him. And, um... Oh, good boy. neck where Elisa's name is. There we go. Now I'm going to have to probably talk to the person um, and ask them if they've ever had reborns before and if not then I'm going to have to go through the whole thing about how you can't get them wet and you can't do this with them and you can't do that with them. Okay buddy. So that's how I think of it is that I'm going to bless him. I'm going to pray over him. And I'm going to send him to his new mommy. Because she must want him for a reason, right? And so I was praying and I felt the Lord tell me to put him in his cutest, the cutest littlest um, outfit that makes him look like a real, real baby. That's what she's looking for. I said she's probably not going to role play silly stuff. Um, actually, I'm a little confused as if, um, I'm not cultured at all as if women are allowed to have reborns in, um, Saudi Arabia. It's, it's kind of shocking to me that that's where they're from. Um, I didn't, I don't know if this is maybe for the daughter or for the wife. I don't know the circumstances and I'm not going to be a nosy person to ask. Smells so good, Bobbies. Yeah. Okay. Well, look at it all nippy sticking out. So, 18 minutes for the first video. Not bad. Not bad. Now we're going to put some powder all over you to make you smell really, really good. We're going to put you in a cute outfit, but it's not going to be his last outfit. It's going to be the last outfit that Mommy wants him in, which is, I'll show you in the next video. Okay. He smells good. Mommy did a good job cleaning out his little fingers and his ears and his nose and his eyes. Make sure that his eyelashes go straight, straight down. There we go. Love you so much. And I think he's, he's looking kind of content right now. Like, Mommy, I am happy. I am warm. I am bathed. I am clean. Yeah. We had a good nap yesterday, didn't we, bud? Yeah, look at that little belly button. Look at that little belly button. Oh, such a sweet boy. I'm going to miss him a lot, but... Upward and onward. Bye, guys. See you in the next video.